you were mentioning that sense of betrayal that you're feeling right now because of what Jesus told you about the little baby that was born to you. Um, this is interesting to me as I am reflecting on it. Betrayal. There, there could be two sources of betrayal here. One, of course, can be that our own mind has betrayed us. Your own mind has betrayed you. Or Jesus has betrayed you. In either way, this wound of betrayal is very real. And uh, it's a good thing to feel it and to look at it and to reevaluate this. Now, the mistake that we often make is that we will dismiss our feeling in order to protect our loyalty to Jesus. We would never think anything bad about him, that it's, it would be possible that he could have betrayed you, could have betrayed me. But that's not the main issue here. The, the main issue is, are you now, it's like one betrayal leads to another betrayal if we are not consciously aware. So what do you do now with this feeling of betrayal? Are you going to betray yourself again by dismissing your pain? Or are you going to reason through this, rationalize through this? And how you can best dissolve the wound, the pain, uh, setting all loyalties aside, you need to do what's best for you, right? So how do you deal with this betrayal? Is it possible that one way to do it is to let go of the story, to let go of the narrative. Because it doesn't compute. Yes, we try to make all kinds, we try to make it fit, you know, by reasoning it this way and that way. But it doesn't compute, it doesn't touch the pain. The, the pain, the pain body continues to feel invalidated, continues to feel lied to. Because I think at the root of the betrayal is the sense that you have been lied to, either by your own mind or by Jesus or what your own mind constructed out of this experience. But again, what is the best route to now heal your betrayal wound in the moment. What do you have to let go other than yourself? What do you have to dismiss other than your legitimate, very real pain and, and what you feel? So the way I have done, dealt with it, is to dismiss everything that was causing the pain. So if the story, the narrative, continues to cause pain, it's time to let go of the story. 
it's time to let go of the narrative and just accept the fact that maybe I got it wrong. Maybe I interpreted what was perceived at the time. Maybe I interpreted the wrong way. And so you have to let go of the source. Let go of the impression so that you can move on. But above all, you must validate yourself. You must validate your pain. Because that inner child that is crying from the inside, feeling lied to and betrayed, that's the child you have to take care of now. And how do you do that? How do you validate that now? By saying, you know what, your feelings are legitimate. We're going to do the best we can to heal you and let go of everything else that really doesn't matter in the 